to the 33rd annual Don Jacobs Toyota Frank Mott's International Kite Festival here in Veterans Park. I'm with Donna Schenk, and we call Donna Mrs. Kite Lady. And all weekend long, you've seen beautiful kites with Don Jacobs. In fact, look up here, you'll see the Don Jacobs Kite Society Caribou Coffee and 93.3 uh, and 12.90 AM kites flying. Donna made those kites. And how cool is that? Well, the project of her lifetime. And let me tell you a little story here. See the giant spinning windsock out in the field? That windsock is about 90 feet long. Two years ago, that windsock broke loose and ended up in the middle of Lake Michigan in the harbor. Well, after a year of personally scouring the shoreline, the Milwaukee Police Department finally found it. They called me and they said, Scott, I do think we found your windsock. So I came down and identified it as our windsock. We pulled it out and it was pretty much trashed. It was ripped, it was wrapped around a, uh, an anchor. Uh, yeah, zebra mussels. It was in the rocks down here, so it was hard to get out. We ended up cutting some of it. But we did get it out, we dried it off, and Donna went to work. What Donna, and by the way, it sat in the harbor for one year. Under the ice under the ice and finally walked to shore. So Donna took the project under her wing. I got her some fabric. She sat down, documented all the patterns and everything on the windsock, and it took her nearly a year to recreate and rebuild this windsock. Now originally this windsock was built in uh, Belgium by a gentleman known as Jos Valky, who by the way was here in May during our kite festival on Memorial Day weekend. And so Donna rebuilt the windsock and put the original tagline, the original signature line in that windsock, in this one out here. And this windsock is making its debut after being out of commission for two, oh, about two and a half years, yeah. So Donna, tell the folks what you went through because this was an amazing story. We've documented it on YouTube right now. This is the final chapter of that documentation, that windsock is uh, one of our centerpieces here and all of the other kite festivals we do. Donna, tell the folks quickly all about your creation. Thank you, Scott. Well, uh, I had to take the old windsock and find enough good pieces for each roll that you see in there and draft a pattern so that I could recreate the windsock. And then I uh, had to cut out all those pieces. There are 300 pieces in that windsock. It's like putting together a quilt, except the pieces are the size of a quilt. Um, it takes, it took about 295 yards of fabric. It's uh, 20 feet in diameter, and as Scott said, about uh, 90 feet long. It weighs about 75 pounds in the bag, and it took me about 120 hours of sewing. And uh, the last piece of the sewing, I actually did right here on this kite field. It took four people to help me feed the fabric through my sewing machine on a very nice day like today to finish the windsock so it can make its debut. And I have my signature next to Yos um, on that uh, windsock, and I'm very proud to uh, be part of that. And I want to thank you, Scott, for allowing me to do that. How about a big round of applause for Donna Shank, Mrs. Kite Lady. She worked hard, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you what, I saw it, I saw it happening. Some of it at our shop, like Donna said, some of it right out here on the field. And this creation has come to life, and we are so proud of it. Thank you very much for all that you do. Thank you. Thank you. Donna Shank, everybody, right here at the Frank Moss International Kite Festival. She is Mrs. Kite Lady. Thank you, Donna. Thank you.